Okay, so trigonometry again, angle given, right angle to triangle, and they've given us that side, and we want to work out what x is. So, um, first thing I'll do, I'll write down so katoa, which you will remember, you need to remember for the exam. Then label the side. So, first side I'll label is H, okay, hypotenuse, opposite that right angle. Next side then will be O, opposite the angle given. Okay, and then the final side then will be my A, my adjacent. And remember, adjacent is next to the both angles. Okay, so um, we can then highlight, we can then specify which sides we're going to use. So in this case, obviously I'm going to use H because um, I've, given, I've been given H and then O because I want to work out X. So O and H is going to be sine again, just like last time. Okay, so it'll be sine of the angle, which is... 35 degrees equals then that let's go in that order o over h okay o over h well o is equal to x isn't it so i'll write x and then divide by h which is 14.3 okay and then you've just got one step then to determine x so to get x on its own because you're dividing by you're dividing by 14.3 take it over and multiply by 14.3 okay and you get your x value there so 14.3 times sine 35, and that comes out to be 8.2 centimeters, one decimal place. Okay, part B then, it says calculate the size of angle X. Now, we can use trigonometry as well to calculate the angle, okay? And for that, they would have needed to give us two sides, okay? Two sides, and they have that. They're giving us these two sides here. So again, Right, you write down the mnemonic, so katoa, okay? We label the sides, right? So in this case now, this side is gonna be H, isn't it? Okay, that side's H because it's opposite the right angle, longest side. This side is gonna be O, okay? That's O because it's opposite the angle here, Y, okay? Opposite there, notice, right? The angle they've given us, they haven't told us what it is, they haven't said how many degrees it is, but they've called that angle there Y, and that's the one we need to work out. So it's opposite there, okay? And then adjacent then to finish off, because remember adjacent is next to the angles, you know, the right angle and the angle given. So um, let's identify the two sides we're going to use. Now, in this case, H, I'm not, not really bothered about, because I don't know, I don't know what, what it is. I don't know how long it is. I, I suppose I could use Pythagoras' theorem, couldn't I, to work it out? Could, you know, that squared plus that squared and so on, right? You go through that approach, but there's no need, okay? You just use trigonometry. Um, but obviously that side I know, and I also know this side. So O and A, O and A. So when you go through that, then it'll be the last one, Toa, okay? Tan, okay? So we'll write down there. We'll start off with the tan, tan. And you've got to have an angle next to it, okay? But they don't tell us the angle. They just say Y. So I have to say tan Y, okay? equals then, well if you go in that order, tan y, tan of the angle equals O divided by A, opposite divided by adjacent. So the opposite is 14.6, divided by the adjacent which is 8.7. Okay, so you've got that there and we are obviously asking, been asking this question to work out the angle, all right? So when you're then asked to work out the angle, um, you need to sort of somehow get rid of this tan, if you think about it, because we actually want to work out y, don't we? That's what we want. We want to get y on its own. But the trouble is that tan, that tan is attached to it, isn't it? Okay, right? And you've got to be careful how you think about it here, okay? It's tan of y, right? Not tan times y, okay? So, you know, it's not a case of taking tan over and dividing. It doesn't work like that. You need to think of it as tan of y, so when you want the angle, what you do is you do take the tan over, but you do the inverse of it, right? You just do tan to the minus one of it. Okay, I'll show you where that is now on the calculator. So I get my calculator and I type in, well, I don't want the tan button this time. I want the one above it, right? So the one above it, slightly above is in yellow there. So I press shift and tan. So if I press shift and tan, it gives me what's in yellow above. And you can see then I've got tan to the minus one. So then I put in that fraction, so press the fraction button, 14.6, press the replay button down, 8.7 there, close the bracket, and we get our angle out to be 59.2 degrees.